Okay, so first of all, go to review and then track changes. And now any changes I make will be tracked. So if I delete a word here, it will turn red and have a line going through it. It will also have a line here indicating that something in this line has changed. I can also insert something and that will be red and underlined. And I can also change the formatting of something. And then I will have a box at the side, which Microsoft calls a balloon, indicating that the formatting has changed. Then I can also cut a sentence from here and paste it up here and it will turn green and have a double underline and then down here it will also be green and have a double strike through indicating that that sentence has been moved. I can also add in a new row here and that will turn blue. Then if I delete a row from the table that will turn pink. Then if I delete the picture, it will have a red line going through it. And if I paste in a new picture, that will have a red line underneath it. Then I can add a comment by selecting the phrase I want to comment on and going new comment then type in the comment that I want and post it. I can also click somewhere inside the text and then right click and add a new comment that way. And then to turn off tracked changes, click here again. Now the idea behind tracked changes is that you can use it to work with other people. So if I go to track changes, I can lock tracking, which means the other people will need a password to turn off tracked changes. I can also go to protect and restrict editing. And this limits how much others can edit and format the document. For example, you can prevent formatting changes, force all changes to be tracked, or allow only commenting. Then if somebody has made changes to a document without using tracked changes, you can compare the document. So you can compare the original document to the revised document, and that will also get you tracked changes. Now in this document, I have changes in three different colors and that's because three different people have edited this document. So the blue changes were made by this person and then the purple changes were made by this person and the red changes were made by this person. You can also hover over a change to see who made that change and also the time and date when they changed it. Now you can customize the way this looks. So if I go up here, I can change it to a simple markup, which hides all of the changes, but you can still see where changes were made with these lines on the side. And then if I click one of these, it will change it back to all markup. I can also change it to no markup, and that will show me what the final document will look like and I can change it to original, which will show me what the document looked like before any tracked changes were made. Then we also have show markup, and if I untick the formatting box here, then that formatting bar disappears. And then if I tick it again, it will reappear. And I also have the option to change the balloons, so I can show revisions in balloons and that will move everything that has been deleted into this bar here. And then I can also change it to show only formatting in balloons, which is what I had before. Then you can have a reviewing pane either horizontally or vertically. 
and this will show you the number of revisions that you have and the types of revisions and then here it lists everything that has been changed so if I scroll down I can double click on one of these and it will take me to that point in the document then we also have tracking options here and this will let you change most of the things we already looked at so for example you can remove the reviewing pane from here and you can also hide all of the insertions and deletions and then you can also change what appears in the balloons so I can show nothing in the balloons if I want to then there are the advanced options and these are the things we looked at before so if you insert something it will be underlined and if you delete something it will be striked through and the color will depend on the author then changed lines are these lines here and you can move them to the other side if you want to and you can see that they have now moved then you can also change what happens when you move something when you change a table when you change the formatting and then you also have the option of changing the way the balloons look so I can make them thinner if I want and also move them to the left hand side and OK and now you can see that they have moved then we also have the option to change username and that is my name and my initials and that is the name that appears whenever I make a change in the document now you can move through all of the changes using these buttons here and you can also move backwards as well then you can accept a change and move to the next one you can also accept a change and then stay where you are and then you can reject a change and move to the next one or reject a change and stay where you are and you can also click these buttons to accept or reject a change and then move to the next one then you also have the option to accept all changes or accept all changes and stop tracking and you also have the option to reject all changes or reject all changes and stop tracking then if we have a look at the comments you can see at the moment they are lined up with the text but if I choose show comments then they are moved into their own bar at the side and I can scroll through them then if I double click on one of these comments it will move me to that point in the text and if I scroll back up again I can then click on one of the speech bubbles and that will move me to that comment in the comments bar and then I can click on this again to change it back now I can also reply to a comment I can also edit a comment and then I can delete a comment I can also delete the whole thread and then I can resolve the thread that makes the comment disappear but if I go back to show comments then you can see it is still here and I have the option to reopen it if I want to and then it will reappear I can also use these buttons to move to the next comment or the previous comment and I can delete a comment as well and there is also the option to delete all comments in the document okay so in this video I have shown you how to use tracked changes and comments in Microsoft Word and that is everything